Morning peeps. What is happening? So today we are leaving Bangkok and we are going to Koh Samui to meet my mother. My mother is currently waiting for me. She keeps telling me to hurry up, hurry up. But I said, sorry mum, I'm in the middle of Songkran, I've got a war going on here. So now, I'm gonna try and get a grab taxi. You just nearly knocked me off the pavement. <laughs> so I was gonna try and get a grab taxi, get to the airport and wait three hours. This whole like wait you can't see me. There we go. Um, but because it's because it's uh, Songkran, it's a Thai holiday, so therefore the, the prices go up on on the holidays. So what should have been like a 200, 300 baht taxi ride ended up being a 400 baht one. But we're absolutely KO'd from Songkran. We gave it absolutely everything that we had. We're exhausted, so we were like, let's just get a taxi. So we're at the airport. How are you feeling? I have a knack with me. I just want to lay down and have a big bit of... I want an Indian, actually. Indian and my bed. Yeah? Yeah. Do you want to sit on the trolley and I'll push you this time? Yeah. I'm down. <laughs> no, honestly, me. we're exhausted. So we're going to go and find Bangkok Airways. We're going to see what time that we can check in. And then we'll check in with you when we're sorted. Okay? For the first time, I'll go in on a propeller plane. Look at this. Ah! <laughs> I'm well excited. How do you feel? I'm shitting it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite. I'm not gonna lie. I'm quite excited about this. It's the most smallest plane I've ever been on in my life. Probably get it in one shot. Watch. <laughs> flat, solid, earthing ground. Honestly, I feel like lying on the floor and kissing it, but I know that there's loads of smelly feet on it, so I'm not gonna do that. But that was honestly one of the most terrifying experiences. Like, I'm not a very good flyer. I don't like being in the air. I don't like knowing that I'm not on the ground and that there is a potential chance that if we crash, I'm definitely gonna die. I don't like that. So, because you're on a propeller plane, it's it's like being in a rusty tin in the air you feel absolutely every single like movement jerk turn everything so we're here we're landed we're safe and we're alive and we're just trying to find out where to go how long it's going to take and i'll be right back with you because the lady needs me From here to Beauport, you're looking at 500 pesos, no, not peso, 500 bar for the car. If you get the van, which is what we got opted for, it's eight kilometers from the airport to Beauport, and we paid 130 bar per person, which probably still is over the odds, but that's the cheapest that you're going to get it from inside the airport. It's about eight o'clock at night, we're absolutely exhausted, we're all sun crammed out, and we've got loads of bags. So, walking to the main road, it just kind of wasn't really that much of an option. 
Um, by the looks of maps, it's only about five, ten minute walk that way. So if, if it's daytime and you know that there are going to be cars passing, give it a go. But if you are at night time, this is what you should be buying from the little shop stand out there at 130 baht and then you'll get picked up by a van. Welcome to our humble abode. I feel like a queen. Mm. How amazing is this little place? The tra the taxi dropped us off on the on some dead end road down there. I was like, yeah, you walk, and we were like, mm, apparently we're ten minutes away. And he was like, no, you walk. We were like literally about thirty steps away, and we came across this. We're gonna show you the rest tomorrow because it's incredible. Such a good little find. By me, may I add? Mm. I found this. I found this place. Be good. And just like that, it's tomorrow. Welcome back. So. I'm probably screaming a little bit too loud, as ever. But last night, when I met up with Chris's mum and auntie, as I said, and we're gonna go and get them today, and we're gonna take them to Chongman Beach. Because when we were in Samui last time, that was one of our favorite places. So we're gonna show you properly what it's all about, how to get there, and how much it costs, and where we are. And then when we get back, if you're lucky, we'll give you a tour of our nice little house. Mm -hmm. Just like old times, Koh Samui, one of our favourite places to come in Thailand. Hot as always, the beautiful sea. Beautiful as always. The what? Beautiful? Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Indeed. Just like your girlfriend, right? Oh, God. Yeah, just like you. <laughs> so we're staying at a place called At Home Bungalows, right on Beaufort Beach, literally. And the it is a really nice accommodation actually. So if you're in the Beauport, give them a look, a look over, and you won't be disappointed. So now we've just got to go walk down the beach to the Ibis and find my mum. Find me and, <laughs> and take them down to Chongmon. A little pit stop, slept off the promenade, got some water, heads into Chowang Beach, and guess what I just remembered? It's Easter! It's Easter! Happy Easter! You look really scared. So, this is Chris's mum, Sasha. This is Chris's auntie, Michelle. Hiya! You know me, you know him. Let's go to Ch Ch Chongmon. Chongmon. Welcome to Chongmon Beach, bushes. Now I'm, I love this beach. This is one of my favourites. However, it look, it looks a lot different to last year when we were here. There's so much more umbrellas up, and there's more things built along the edges. But it's still as bright. I can barely see. Sand is still as fine as it was. And we're just about to find out if the water is still as hot as it is. We're gonna head that way because there's a little island that we found a little swing on, but it looks like everyone else has found it as well. And last time we were here, they had just started building a little like apartment things, houses on the other island. So I think we might just take a walk up there, but I've got me water this time because nearly fainted and fell off the cliff last time. So we'll show you what it looks like.
Well, last year I found a little swing Instagram goals, didn't I? So we're gonna go and see if it's still there. Because, you know, Instagram goals. to you mate. Oh, the tree's trying to claim me as its own. <laughs> You're wee stuck. <laughs> oh, that head. It's just trying to get Instagram goals. How'd it look? <laughs> Smashing. You look alright, yeah. Thanks. Welcome. First time he's ever said something nice to me without me having to tell him to. It's mad like coming back to an, a place where you've been to before, isn't it? It's like, it's so familiar, but it's changed quite a bit. But it's, uh, it's a nice... And last time we were on holiday, so it's like looking at it from a different perspective and seeing it a little bit differently. And we were like, oh my God, we just had dinner for 12 pound between the two of us, what a bargain. And we're, now we're like, 12 pounds? <laughs> I don't think so. I can get an accommodation for two nights for 12 pounds. You're having me off. It's nice coming back though, isn't it? Yeah. Would you recommend Chongmon? Chongmon, I, I love Chongmon. Got to come to Chongmon, people. Yeah. All right. You done? Scratch my ankle on the rock. Come on, come here. Bring yourself some water shoes because there's loads of rocks and it hurts a lot. You're right back there. Smashing. Surviving. Yeah, you know me, that's what I do best, <laughs> survive. We're on our way home, we're a sweaty bunch of messes. We're burnt, we're tired, and I want some chocolate. Got to go to Fisherman's Village. We dropped our stuff back up at um, at the the mum's the mum's rooms, and um, we are heading to Fisherman's Village because they want to do some souvenir. Oh. happening peeps so we just got back to the room so now nah, I'm gonna get on with a bit of editing today and stuff and um, call it a night so thanks for watching subscribe like share stick around and we'll see where else the journey takes us peace it's the simple things in life you forget the past you